Item number SCP-3426 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Until the nature of SCP-3426 can be definitively ascertained, containment should focus on preventing as many of the theorized conditions for its occurrence as possible. As such, scientific progress into a unified physics hypothesis and the creation of infinitely sustainable energy should be heavily impeded. Other areas of social and technological progress that could potentially result in an occurrence of SCP-3426 on Earth must be prevented by any reasonable means currently available. Additional measures may be taken in the event that the collective human race approaches attainment of Type 1 civilization status, as defined by the Kardashev scale. Investigation of phenomena related to SCP-3426 will take place under observation gray voices. Mechanical probe surveys to a maximum range of 100 light-years will attempt to ascertain the commonality and range of SCP-3426, and manned excursions of post-3426 planets are currently in the planning process. Operation Gray Voices will centralize the relevant collected data, and collaborate with other Foundation internal research divisions, including the Memetics and Infohazard Division, Temporal Anomalies Department, Thaumaturgical Department, and Biological Containment and Research Division, for the purpose of attaining a greater understanding of SCP-3426. Civilian surveys of exoplanets and cosmological imaging projects will be strictly monitored for images or data that show evidence of SCP-3426. Upon discovery, data of SCP-3426 is to be erased or edited as necessary, and amnestics administered to persons involved. Description. SCP-3426 is a phenomenon that is responsible for the total extinction of a technologically and socially advanced planetary civilization. SCP-3426 may be an event, entity, process, object, or concept. To date, there exists no definitive hypothesis on the attributes of the anomaly. However, it is known that the conditions for the manifestation of SCP-3426 are self-consistent and follow an established pattern. It is believed that SCP-3426 manifestation is widespread and possibly universal. A planet that has been affected by SCP-3426 is termed Post-3426. Post-3426 planets and civilizations share a number of common characteristics. The civilization must have achieved a relative degree of global social-political stability. A limitless or indefinitely sustainable source of worldwide energy is in use, such as nuclear fusion, hydrogen mining, orbital solar collection, or enhanced geothermal systems. This energy must be widespread and plentiful enough for the civilization to qualify the Type 1 civilization or higher on the Kardashev scale. A unified scientific theory or model of the universe must have been developed. Space travel is commonplace, and is advanced enough to allow for detailed exploration of the local solar system. There exists an organization whose purpose is to catalog and contain as many anomalous phenomena as possible. Post-3426 plants display widespread anomalous material corrosion, reality distortion, complete or near-complete corruption of information and information media, and the pervasive presence of visual cognitohazards and abnormalities. Sapient lifeforms on a post-3426 planet appear in two stages based on time since SCP-3426 took place. If it has been one year or less since the occurrence of SCP-3426, such organisms appear suspended or frozen in place, lack any consciousness, and display total cell death. In some cases they appear translucent or blurred to the cameras and to the eye. Afterwards, intelligent life is apparently completely spatially erased, while possessions, information, and structures created as a result of the species remain present, if highly deviated, no physical remains of the species itself exist. Data, items, and artifacts were collected primarily through the mass uses of drones, orbital probes, and imaging sensors deployed on the post-3426 planets. Further information on the exact properties or effects of SCP-3426 has been difficult to recover. Probes that enter the atmosphere of a post-3426 planet quickly deteriorate within 24 hours, becoming affected by the space-time distortion and material corruption permeating the planet's surface and surroundings. As a result, 
recovered data on post-34-26 plants is extremely limited. Based on data and related analysis from Operation Grey Voices, it is believed that SCP-3426 induces a slow collapse of the consistency of universal constants and stable states within the planet. This collapse weakens force interactions between elementary particles, creates extreme planet-wide ontokinetic and material distortion effects, and gradually prevents any information or conscious thought from being distributed. This process culminates in all matter on the planet reaching a state of catastrophic incoherence, theoretically resulting in the slow erasure of objects, concepts and lifeforms originating from it. This phenomenon has been provisionally classed a ZK-Lambda-class cosmic fragmentation scenario. While research into SCP-3426 has yielded a vast variety of information regarding its nature and end results, the mechanism by which SCP-3426 acts remains unknown. Addendum 3426.1 Incomplete list of post-3426 planets At present, Operation Grey Voices has examined all exoplanets within a 75 light-year radius of Earth. From this current exploration area, 16 planets have met the hypothesized conditions required for the occurrence of SCP-3426. All 16 were affected by SCP-3426 either upon discovery or within five years of detection. A partial list of post-3426 exoplanets and their characteristics is shown below. Gleese 1214b Post-3426-2 Traits Ocean Planet Hydrogen and Helium Atmosphere Dominant lifeforms were aquatic non-humanoids with primary settlements underneath the ocean. Technologically advanced society organized in the strict unified social hierarchies. Outposts existed both in the atmosphere and in space used for the purpose of research into the local star system. The civilization had no clear leader of governmental system. Rather, computers dispensed resources distributed according to caste. Post-3426 Characteristics After SCP-3426, Post-3426-2 had approximately half of its water transmuted into deuterium and tritium oxide. Consciousness in all sapient lifeforms spontaneously stopped. Computers and other data storage devices underwent apparent global information corruption, with only 15% of the civilization's information remaining readable. Water molecules no longer flow. The substance acts as a single, rigid, continuous solid. Notes. None. Kepler-443b Post-3426-5 Traits Thick atmosphere, strong gravitational field, and cold average temperatures. Dominant lifeforms have mammalian characteristics such as body hair and live birth, but possess ectothermic circulation in the same fashion as reptiles. Dominant religion involved the worship of an entity ascribed to the planet Star, which was said to be responsible for continually rebuilding and moving the universe. Post-3426-5 experienced a form of catastrophic reality degradation in which the formation of chemical compounds became impossible due to weakening of the electrostatic force. An additional anomalous effect causes all native living organisms to be perceived as a two-dimensional shimmering gray film. This effect is both present in photographs and video from the planet and physical artifacts collected from it. Notes, none. Light and B Post-3426-10 Traits Rocky planet with Earth-like composition, orbiting a red dwarf, mild, 292K temperatures, and nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere. Dominant intelligent life was humanoid. The planet had recently survived the effects of a catastrophic nuclear war, which subsequently led to a current period of utopian peace and social stability. Primary energy source was obtained through large-scale drilling into the planet's mantle. Post-3426 Characteristics All events taking place on Post-3426-10 occur in apparent disjointed slow motion. Movement, interaction, and even thought are anomalously decelerated. This deceleration is inconsistent among the surface, with some regions being slower than others. This effect can also manifest as a complete and total stopping of time, with all particle movement in an affected region ceasing. Analysis of the mantle of the planet revealed that it had been transformed into a perfectly smooth, transparent layer of pink glass. Interaction with this glass results in malfunction of any nearby electrically-powered devices and an intense feeling of vertigo. Notes. 
The dominant lifeforms inhabiting Post-34-26-10 appear to communicate in an undocumented Indo-European language with significant similarities to Hittite. The status of this phenomenon as an anomaly is currently under review. TRAPPIST-1-F Post-34-26-13 Traits Orbit's ultra-cool dwarf star. Rocky Earth-like composition with large high-pressure water vapor enveloped covering planet. Similarly to Earth, planetary society consisted of a multitude of separated geopolitical states coexisting in a roughly capitalist system. Analog of the SCP Foundation, notably was a peacekeeping organization that traded anomalies and used them strategically to prevent wars, research medical and scientific advances, or expose social and economic injustices. Post-3426 Characteristics Extreme spatial distortion. Entire regions are displaced from the rest of the surface, while a low static blur is visible across most of the planet. It is unknown whether this is a visual or an ontokinetic effect. On occasion, a sudden tear in the space-time continuum within the planet's atmosphere is detected, followed by the appearance of black mist. This mist will usually move towards an unconscious sentient lifeform or data storage device to enter it. Once this has been completed, it becomes impossible for any being to comprehend any concepts related to or contained in the affected object. This has made data gathering from Post-3426-13 extremely difficult. Notes. All containment sites operated by Post-3426-13's SCP Foundation analog have been replaced by large spheres of total darkness. Mechanical probes entering these regions of total darkness experience an unusual form of breakdown. See Addendum 3426.3 Addendum 3426.2 Recovered Data and Artifacts List Rough translations of recovered data were provided by the Linguistics Department under request by Operation Great Voices. Translations are not guaranteed to be accurate. Item Source Computer Terminal Drive on Space Station Orbiting Post 3426-2 We are on the verge of finally discovering it. Equation of Everything the mathematics is working perfectly. Too perfectly. Perhaps for me to remain comfortable with this experiment much longer. Natural laws, behaviors, and forces? I cannot help but fear at what these findings imply. I cannot keep this secret. This conclusion is something that affects everything. Not just on the planet, everywhere. That exists. We are… And as I stare further and further into the sand grains that make this world, I am further convinced that they are built out of mist and magic. Item Source Emergency message found playing on repeat on all structures in Post-3426-2 Attention! Worldwide informational, physical, and chemical hazards. Please remain calm and take note of the following precautions to ensure your safety. Once this message completes, shut off all electronic devices you currently possess. Close all openings or viewings from outside the building you are currently in. If you are not currently inside an enclosed building, seek shelter in one immediately. Cover up or illuminate all sources of darkness in your location of shelter. Destroy any reflective surfaces in your location of shelter. Destroy any transparent surfaces in your location of shelter. If you begin witnessing bizarre, disturbing, or unsettling effects occurring in your location of shelter, do not report or point them out to any other person. Doing so will allow to spread. When you begin to hear the screaming in your mind, move to a room or place where you can be alone. Darken the room completely. This will allow the fading to happen most quickly. Bring any possessions of sentimental value with you. The screams will become overpowering. Do not panic. Focus on a memory of great intensity to you, and be silent until you do not exist. If at any point you feel that you cannot continue, remember that a society-issued weapon should be available in every facility. Your death will be quick and painless. This message will continue until nothing is left to hear it. This message… It. This message will continue until nothing is left to hear it. Item Source A native plant from Post-3426-5 as far as that can be ascertained, the plant is approximately 0.75 meters tall and is most likely a flowering plant. This plant was common across Post-3426-5's ground and was pollinated by many native fauna on Post-3426-5. Within the first 15 minutes of viewing, the object is perceived by all intelligent life as a plant-shaped mass of static. This static appears two-dimensional from all sides despite existing in a three-dimensional space. 
Extended observation of the static tends to cause discomfort in all observers. After fifteen minutes have passed, the plant is no longer able to be perceived by the observer. The observer's memories of the plant are immediately retained, but physical viewing of the plant's location presents itself as if the object itself was not present. Testers could describe an unknown object perfectly, even if it was presumably obscured by the plant. The effect changes after an additional two to three days have passed. All people who are affected by the property that prevents perception of the plant begin to see the plant as a miscellaneous flower that the observer attaches emotional value or meaning to. The flower type that is perceived varies greatly from person to person. Foundation AIADs, upon being presented with the plant, appear to perceive it as a random pattern of shapes and colors. The reason for this effect is undetermined. Item Source Official internal statement from the SCP Foundation equivalent from Post 3426-10 To all that remain We the Conclave of Six reveal our words to you today because Selsignig will soon cease to exist. And it must come to pass because of our doing. We delved too far, knew too much. We wanted to know secrets which were not meant for the mortals to know. Questions of gods and creators. Questions of the elementary makeup of everything. Now we face the apocalypse, divine punishment for our transgressions. We have little left to say. In the coming days, you will find that the domain of physical meaning will shatter into a billion pieces. Specifically, this planet will be ravaged, both by a massive upheaval in universal laws that is roughly equivalent to the entire planet becoming a high-intensity, hostile matter-affecting anomaly, or as you also know it, a Segment M Threat RH phenomenon, and by a vast number of incorporeal entities. We believe they're entities, but we're not sure. That will attempt to slowly erase and corrupt all sources of information and knowledge originating from self -signic. Yes, this includes you. You have two choices. If you stay on self -signic, your consciousness will be ripped apart from you and leave only a pale image of anything you were. Time and space will blend their twisted forms into each other until everything and nothing happens at once. Every second squished together and lengthened into eternity. Communication and thought will die a slow death. Eventually, everything that originates from our world will collapse into itself, and be erased from the universe. The only fragments of our legacy will be warped to be unrecognizable. Alternatively, you can take the preliminary space shuttle we have made out of all the anomalous material we still have left. It will get you far, but not much further. From what we understand, it is the very fabric of the multiverse itself that has come to blot us out. Long live so signed. May its death not be in vain. Item Source Handwritten note scrawled into the inside back cover of a book on Post 3426-13. The world is on slow fire. Swarms of bitter void break apart from the sky and attack. I don't think there's time left to escape. I think even if we did, they would follow. I looked upwards and in a moment the sky was suddenly black and the sun was even darker, all filaments and strands of infectious shadows. I don't even know how they got here, why they chose us, why, 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 they sent. Sent, the flying things, signals, I can't recall the names. But as it hit the black barrier, they simply dis disappe went away. We're going away too. Everything I know is fading. I look at the world, and half of the words I use for things have been blocked out by my memory. The computers don't work anymore. When I open this book, the words are replaced by bars of white and black, and that color in between them. God, I wish I could remember the word. That's what they're doing, don't you see? They are v nothing but nothing and they want to make us unreal and time and space unreal. As I look out of this window, the top half of the building next to me is disjointed from the bottom half. The people in the window across are frozen. Then they flash and move for an instant, and are frozen once more. Every time they move, the color of everything turns red and blue and green in a strobe of terror. Reality is coming apart at the seams. I have. My sister is in the house with me. We are trying to keep out of reach of the unreal darknesses. She has… She has told me there is a voice in her head. I asked her what the voice was saying. She said it was only a wailing. It is the end for her, then. I will watch as the wailing overpowers her mind, and she forgets everything she is. She will forget she was ever an intelligent being. 
She will forget all the world, and all the past, and all the present and the future. The little of what we have left. She will then become unregisterable to me, in my mind or to anyone's mind. Her consciousness and her identity will be severed from the rest of our knowledge, until she dissolves alone in a universe of one, and becomes an object eaten by the all-consuming unreality. She was too young. I hear something in my head. The light. Level 4 slash 3426 slash classified. Addendum 3426.3. Post 3426-13 Exploration Log. Exploration Log 3426-UA-13C The following log depicts the received camera feed of the exploration of the void regions of Post 342613, involving the uses of an unmanned drone. This file is limited to personnel level 4 clearance or higher. While neither info hazards nor cognito hazards have yet been detected to be present in this transcription, all personnel viewing this file must undergo level 2 hazards meme scan before proceeding. In order to further investigate the widespread regions of void present across Post 3426-13, the SCPS Thurnenlicht, an unmanned exploration vessel, drops out of FTL in the upper atmosphere of Post 3426-13. The Thurnenlicht simultaneously launches a close-range automated drone, SKF-070, with camera feed connected to the main ship. T-127 The drone enters the lower atmosphere and deploys parachute. Drone registered minor surface damage. Later analysis shows that a thin layer of the material surrounding the drone had been transformed into balsa wood. Cause of this event is unknown. T plus 450. The drone lands on the surface of Post 3426 13. Video feed shows that the sky appears to be phasing in and out, making formations such as clouds, and the sun periodically looks transparent. The sky is a pinkish-red color with a dark hue, caused by the low brightness of the red dwarf star, TRAPPIST-1. A number of avian lifeforms appear to be frozen in the sky. T plus 5 minutes 1 second. Drone begins movement towards point of target. From its altitude, the camera can see the regional landscape. The area appears to be a coastal grassland plain. Ocean water drifts towards the shoreline in misshapen angular waves. As the waves break onto the beach, they are suddenly turned into what are apparently perfectly cut diamonds. The diamonds fade away a few seconds after they are deposited onto the beach. Camera pans 180 degrees. A number of vaguely humanoid lifeforms are frozen in place along the shore, thin white wisps evaporating off of their forms. Debris is strewn about the area, and small fires burn in the distance. T plus 5 minutes 11 seconds. Abruptly, there is a flash on the camera feed that blinds the view momentarily. After a few seconds, the view returns, revealing that the entire sky appears to have lost all color contrast. There is a crackling noise, and the color of the sky returns to normal. Drone begins heading towards target location. T plus 14 minutes 8 seconds. Drone passes over planet's surface for approximately 4 kilometers. Video feed notes the appearance of several more anomalous features. Several structures and buildings appear to be completely flattened into the ground, creating two-dimensional images of the structures and their contents on the surface. The drone passes by a number of posters, billboards, and other signage, however all word and iconography of the signs appear unreadable black bars. Many of the objects, flora and fauna on Post 3426-13 are warped or disjointed in some way, and some are translucent or nearly transparent. T plus 17 minutes 35 seconds. Drone approaches target. Camera shows a completely dark sphere, completely static, emitting no sound or light. The sphere is roughly estimated to be about a quarter mile in radius. Drone activates several sensors to scan anomaly, including light, sound, sentience, matter scattering, and conceptual identity. All sensors return negative. T plus 17 minutes 59 seconds. Drone breaches the barrier of the void. T plus 18 minutes 36 seconds. Camera feed begins to play faint sounds of static. A pristine, non-anomalous planetary landscape is seen, about 50 yards ahead. There is an industrial building with large glass windows and unreadable insignia branded on the front. Drone enters an open door on the first floor of the complex. T plus 18 minutes 55 seconds. Static slightly increases in volume. 
Drone emerges in a clean, bluish-white office space with a large plastic counter on the far side, decorated with potted plants. A sign is hung on the back of the wall behind the counter. Normally this sign would be illegible or obscured by sensory bars. However, there are words on the sign reading, Nothing is here. Lock yourself inside. T plus 21 minutes 40 seconds. Drone proceeds down open corridor. To one side there are large glass windows open to the sky. As the drone continues down the corridor, the windows appear to grow and shrink in dimension. There is a small object at the end of the corridor, which terminates in a dead end. The corridor is not lit well enough for the object to be identified. T plus 22 minutes 23 seconds. Set onto the floor of the corridor is what is evidently a television set. The television has the same shape and dimensions to match a typical CRT television from the late 1970s. As the drone approaches, it turns on. T plus 22 minutes 31 seconds. The drone stops despite the control system from the sternum licks being completely severed. The sound of static on the video feed suddenly increases in volume, nearly drowning out any other noise. The television shows a series of sounds and images, including clips of asteroids floating through space, large networks of massive supercomputers, crowds of people going about their daily activities, the drone itself hovering in front of the television screen, and an endless brightly lit corridor. These images cycle through each other interspersed with flashes of white light. The cycling becomes faster, and the flashes of light last longer and longer. Faintly visible in the light now are outlines of shapes, amorphous forms that move about the screen. The amorphous forms combine and reform until they create the vague outline of a human head. The human head is looking directly into the drone's camera. Its mouth hangs completely open. T plus 24 minutes 57 seconds. The drone is suddenly propelled forward towards a collision course with the blank wall. The wall appears to fall away, and the drone is pushed forward into an empty white space and begins to fall. T plus 34 minutes 57 seconds. After exactly ten minutes of continuous falling, the drone suddenly emerges in the office lobby at the entrance of the building. The lobby is nominally the same in organization, appearance, and features. The sign behind the counter has changed words. It now reads, Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Go back. Outside the floor to ceiling windows, the entire sky has acquired a dull red glow. T plus 37 minutes 9 seconds. The camera notes the presence of a new hallway to the other side of the previous hallway that was not present before. As the drone approaches, faint sounds of mechanical operation, such as electrical beeps and running motors, become faintly audible. Just as the drone is about to enter the hallway, the video feed suddenly emits the sound of screaming, and the drone appears again in the center of the office foyer. For approximately two hours, the drone continuously attempts to enter the newly made hallway, with the same events occurring each time. T plus 2 hours 32 minutes 32 seconds. Over the next two hours, the sun sets and night falls. There is knocking on the windows, but no movement is registered from the outside. The knocking on the windows become more and more frantic. From the outside, the stars appear to be blood red. The drone approaches the hallway, and is this time not impeded. The static in the background swells and crackles, and a faint voice can be made out just underneath the interference. The voice says, Better to drown in blissful waters than to swim to a hellish shore. The drone proceeds down the hallway. T plus 2 hours 38 minutes 15 seconds. The hallway is an endless, brightly lit corridor with no exits or side doors. Fluorescent lights are persistent on the ceiling at regular intervals. After a few minutes of travel, it is impossible to tell how far the drone has moved. The featurelessness of the hallway prevents any kind of relative positioning. T plus 3 hours 50 minutes 49 seconds. After about one hour of travel, the static slowly begins to quiet and is replaced with the growing sound of high-pitched wailing coming from thousands of sources. A whispered voice intrudes on the audio feed. It says, The universe is an infinite staircase, but it is shattered. You will shatter it. We are the particles of glass drifting in unceasing pain. To peer behind a curtain of life is to anger the voice of nightmares and sorrow. Listen and turn back before you burn by the eternal splinters. T plus 4 hours 1 minute 50 seconds. Dark wisps are emitted from the lamp, swarming together and flowing through the air. The audio is interspersed with intense high-pitched screaming. When the screaming is emitted, the video feed suddenly pixelates and shows random patterns of vivid colors. The pattern continues for a little less than two days. T 
plus 51 hours, 37 minutes, 4 seconds. A subtle change is now added to this pattern of data. Every time a pixelation event occurs, one of the pixels in the camera remains dead, sticking to the camera screen. Over time, the dead pixels fill the entire camera view. T plus 78 hours, 23 minutes, 30 seconds. The video feed has now been completely obscured by a variety of dead pixels. The sound of screaming has reached approximately 150 decibels, intense enough to cause rupturing of the eardrums. Shapes appear to form in the dead pixels, as if the pixels were moving through a field or an outline of static. The hallway's shape is vaguely visible in the static as the drone continues to move through it, but now visible are hundreds of distorted human figures that stand still in the hallway, extending indefinitely through the corridor. Their faces are featureless except for eyes and a mouth. T plus 78 hours, 25 minutes, 41 seconds. The intense screaming suddenly stops. The audio feed is completely silent. T plus 78 hours, 25 minutes, 48 seconds. The swarm of humanoid faces all simultaneously turn towards the drone's camera. The figures disintegrate into black minute particles. The pixelation effect on the camera clears. The lights in the hallway all go out, leaving the drone in complete darkness. T plus 78 hours, 25 minutes, 53 seconds. The drone activates its searchlight and shines it into the hallway. The hallway begins to spin and reflect in on itself. Different sections of the hallway seem to cross over each other, rotate and reverse until it creates a kaleidoscope-like pattern in place of the original corridor. The hallway splits in half repeatedly into sections separated by cracks of blinding white light. The hallway then appears to unravel and coil itself around the probe until it has no room left to move. The cracks in the hallway expand and the light spilling out of it grows brighter. T plus 78 hours, 26 minutes, 36 seconds. The camera view switches abruptly to a continuous white field. T plus 84 hours, 11 minutes, 47 seconds. Nearly six hours later, change is detected in camera view. The white field begins to gradually fade into total blackness. As this occurs, systems on the drone progressively shut down in sequence, and the probe begins to lose capabilities. T plus 84 hours, 14 minutes, 21 seconds. The drone shakes violently as its processing systems completely fail. A dark red flash is briefly seen permeating the camera's view before the feed cuts out. End log. Addendum. The transcription of this camera feed is based on general consensus from a variety of viewers of the drone's camera recordings. The accuracy or reality of this transcription is currently not known. Re-recordings or attempts at computer analysis of this exploration log indicate that all reception ends past timestamp T plus 17 minutes 59 seconds. Past this point, the recording apparently consists entirely of static.